pretty good, man. You know, obviously, you know, I had, you know, a couple of days off, um, but, you know, that didn't stop me from working. So, um, you know, credit to, you know, our, our you know, our staff, um, you know, in the training room and in the weight room for, you know, keeping me, you know, in shape. Um, obviously, you know, it's different when you're actually out there on the floor. So uh, pretty much a little bit of fatigue set in, but, you know, all in all, you know, I feel good. All right, which one was better? Which one of the dunks? Um, that's a tough question, bro. If you put everything in perspective, you know, I had the first one on a career night, you know, 50, 52. Um, but I had this one pretty much in the clutch. Um, mm. I'm going to go with the first one, man. First one. Okay, we're at the halfway point. Uh, give, me, give us your mid-grade uh, status or grading for the first half Grizz. A B plus. Um, obviously, you know, I feel like, you know, we're definitely in a good position. You know, uh, pretty much, you know, top for first. Um, obviously, you know, uh, we had a lot of guys out. Um, you know, so that's the good thing, um, you know, for us still being, you know, top of you know, our conference. Um, but I feel like, you know, we just got to be, you know, a little more locked in and, you know, paying, you know, attention to detail, um, you know, knowing, you know, what we got going on on the floor, knowing the scout, knowing, you know, where we're supposed to be at, what we're supposed to do. I feel like, you know, we have some, you know, mental lapses, you know, during the game. Obviously, you know, fatigue can play a part in that, but I just feel like if we want to be a great team, you know, no matter what, we have to do that, you know, day in and day out and, you know, for a full 48 minutes. So um, that's pretty much really just the area, you know, I feel like, you know, we can get better and um, pretty much just doing the little things, um, you know, limiting transition buckets and, you know, second chance points. Hey, Ja. Um, so to piggyback off Drew, what is it about Yaka when you see him down? I mean, is that it just ain't nothing? That's just my mindset, no matter who it is. So. Then, it's uh, just I make them when it's him. Um, it's a lot of, you know, almost dunks I had over other people pretty much in that same situation I just missed. So. Um, how, sp special is it, how special is it to, you know, come from humble beginnings and to pass down, um, you know, some, something that somebody can cherish like you did for Ellie tonight? Um, it's big time, you know, obviously. Um, I just feel like, you know, I was, come from a good home, you know, great parents. Um, you know, it's just something, you know, I pretty much, you know, love to do. Um, you know, you touch somebody's heart like that, you know, a big fan of, you know, the Grizzlies um, for years. Um, obviously, you know, it's moments like that, you know, that means the most to them. Um, some, you know, they'll never forget. Um, some, you know, they'll remember for the rest of their life. Their parents, you know, pretty much will remember it. Um, and it's something, you know, they pretty much half, you know, that, you know, some people don't have. Um, it's not a lot of people, you know, who got a game-worn, you know, signed, you know, Ja jersey. And there's definitely not a lot of people who have signed Ja ones, you know, pretty much it's besides, you know, um, her and, you know, the last time I gave my shoes, it's just me, my dad, and Kari. Um, you know, we're still working on, you know, getting everybody else theirs, but, um, something to be proud about, um, something, you know, definitely to be thankful for. And you know, I'm just thankful for, you know, you know, the fans continuing to support me. And, you know, after seeing, you know, what happened to them on social media, um, you know, I just felt terrible. Um, obviously, it's been years, you know, she had that ball and, you know, had to, you know, opportunity to, you know, get autographs for such, you know, you know, great players. And, you know, to have that taken away from them, I feel like, you know, it was unacceptable. So. Um, you know, I just was trying to get in contact with the fam. You know, I reached out, offered them, you know, two of my courtside seats I give to my fam. And, you know, told them, you know, after the game, you know, I would give them my jersey and shoes. Um, so definitely a good feeling, you know, to, you know, have them there supporting us and see that smile on their face at the end.